Hello everyone, my name is M. Bharat Max. Today I am going to explain you the working of orifice motor. This is the reservoir tank from which water is pumped with the help of a DC motor. This is the connection valve where water flows both orifice and venturi meter. We are going to perform the experiment on orifice meter, hence the valve will be opened during the experiment. Then the water flows through the horizontal pipe and then this is the orifice meter uh, where the pressure difference is calculated to know the water flow rate. The water then flowing from the orifice meter enters the, uh, enters the collecting tank where we calculate the time taken for uh, raise of 20 uh, centimeter height of water. This is the collecting tank where the water from the orifice meter or the venturi meter enters. The water entering here flows to the pipe inside the collecting tank and it is closed with the help of a butterfly valve. The tank is made such a way that the water when it crosses a certain level flows through this circular pipe and the dimension of the pipe are given in this chart. A multi switch single valve manometer used for measuring the head loss of orifice meter. The motor is switched on. The orifice meter valve is opened. The water then starts flowing through the orifice meter. This is the orifice meter. This is the valve which is opened for finding the head loss of an orifice meter. You can see there is rising mercury level of the manometer. The reading is noted. Right now the valve is open. The water flowing from the orifice meter is entering the collecting tank. Now the butterfly valve is closed. And the water starts collecting inside the uh, collecting tank. This is the piezometer used for measuring the uh, rise in the height of the water level inside the collecting tank. The timer is started when the water crosses the 10 cm bar and it is noted until 30, uh, water crosses 30 cm bar. This is used to find raise in the uh, water level, time taken for the raise in the water level for 20 cm. As you can see the water is approaching 30 cm and the stop watch is stopped. The flow control valve is further closed a bit so that there will be a drop in the 2 cm level. Water level was 47 cm and is now to 45 cm in the manometer and now the procedure is repeated again uh, and the time calculated uh, again for the 20 cm raising the water in the collection tank. The aim of this experiment is to determine the coefficient of discharge of orifice meter. The tabular column for the orifice meter experiment is as shown. It consists of 6 vertical columns. First one is of serial number and second is head loss. The head loss for orifice meter is first noted in terms of mercury, hence the column is filled. The third column is time taken for rise of 20 cm of water. The fourth column is actual discharge, uh, the units is in meter cube per second. And fifth one is a theoretical discharge value and the unit is meter cube per second. And the finally we calculate the coefficient of discharge. The observation is written uh, most of the observation is obtained from the table given on the orifice or venturi meter reserve uh, collecting tank most of the observations are self-explanatory the fifth part of the observation that is area in which water stands is the actual area which is calculated because there is a vertical pipe as explained before to drain the excess water because the person conducting the experiment might forget, might forget to open the butterfly valve Four formulas are required to calculate the coefficient of discharge of orifice meter. They are as shown. The first formula is used to find the head loss of water as the head loss is obtained with respect to the mercury. Q actual is the actual discharge. A is the area of the collecting tank that is the actual area that is area of the tank minus area of the pipe used to drain the water once it crosses the limit. H is the height in height for which time is calculated. T is the time taken for rise of x centimeter of water. Uh, theoretical discharge of water is given by QTH. The formula is given 
as a1 into a2 into under root of 2ghw pi under root of a1 square minus a2 square the a1 and a2 are area of inlet pipe and orifice and g is acceleration due to gravity and hw is head loss with respect to water once we obtain the actual and theoretical discharges the coefficient of discharge is calculated the formula for coefficient of discharge cd is equal to q actual by q theoretical by using these four formulas the calculations are shown the values are obtained after calculations are filled in the tabular column and thus the result is obtained similar way the procedure is followed for other two to three or trials and thus the experiment is concluded